Good morning. Oh, it's a wet morning. Anyways, I um, thought I'd get out of the house for a bit of a walk today and come up to Hallwoods, just down in Henbury. It's not very well known. I'm just walking up past the gas works now, just over the railway bridge. Now Hallwoods is uh, quite close to Berwick Lodge. Not very many people go up here. You see the odd dog walker, but not an awful lot of people. So if you want to come up and do a bit of uh, bushcrafty stuff or just come and sit with your thoughts, outstanding for that. Very rare you're going to get disturbed. Um, so yeah, I'm going to tramp up the hill and we're going to cut into the wood line. And I'll show you what it's like up there. It's going through the mud at the minute. Uh, so it is raining. I'm not wearing my waterproofs at the moment so I've just walked down from my house and for me it's always a trade-off between getting hot and sweaty or getting a little bit damp but keeping cool so I'd rather get damp and keep a little bit cooler. So we'll plod on up and I'll show you what's what up here. So I'm at the top of the hill, you can see Henbury there, you've got the uh, big tower blocks in the distance. I used to live around these parts but I've now moved. Uh, Here's a tree line going into Hallwood. Like I said, it's not hugely well known. You see the odd burnout bike or there's plenty of rubbish up here from uh, kids playing, but I don't think I'll see anybody up here today. So I brought with me uh, my sort of day kit. So I've got my uh, cooker, I've got a cup, I've got some instant coffee and water and that. So we'll find somewhere nice to sit down. I'm just going into the tree line and uh, get a brew and I'll give a quick uh, kit check, show you what I've got me today. Uh, happy days, I'll see you shortly. So we're now into the tree line. Uh, that's the way out. As you can see there's rubbish all over the place. I haven't seen anybody yet. I forgot to bring something to sit on in my infinite wisdom. I was in a rush to get out the door this morning. So um, what I did do was uh, find a nice plastic carry bag someone was left behind. So give that a shake out. That'll give me something nice and dry to sit on. So, uh, yeah, I like coming up here, it's nice and peaceful. Sometimes I do a bit of bushcraft, you can uh, get a fire on, like a small fire, nobody really notices, I've never had any complaints or anything. Um, I didn't bring the bushcraft knife with me today, because, to be honest, I, um, I had lots of drink last night, so I didn't drive down here, I walked. And I don't really want to be walking around with a sort of four-inch bushcraft knife in the back of my rucksack. And, you know, if you get stopped by the police, you're going to get arrested for that, so... I rode on the side of caution today, I've just brought my Swiss Army knife um, and my brew kit and that's it. So let's go and find somewhere to pitch up. Did you see the woodland's clearing up a little bit now? You can see where you're going a little bit more. It is easy to get turned around and I've been turned around before now. And uh, it took me an hour to find my way out because I got totally disorientated and ended up walking around in a, a big circle. So tip from the top, bring a compass with you. Work out the direction you came in and go the opposite way to come out. In this case, all I've got to do is just head south and I'll hit the tree line and I'll be out, safe and dry. You can see people have uh, tried to sort of make their own little lean-to shelters. It's quite popular. There's a few of these knocking around. I did make one up here the other year. It was, uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty good, actually. Didn't stay in it overnight. I had uh, things to do, but just for a little fun project whilst you're out in the woods with a friend, you know, drinking coffee, messing about. Yeah, the ground's still quite boggy. I should have bought my wellies really, but never mind. All right, onwards. As you can see, these black balls on the tree, these are uh, crown balls or uh, King Alfred cakes, people call them. Basically, it's uh, a fungus, a mushroom. You can um, you can knock these off. Right, well, if you have a look on the inside. You've got all this sort of fibrous material. When they're dry, you can use um, a fire steel or you can use a lighter. Um, blow on it and it glows just like a charcoal briquette so if you want to get a fire going these are a really good option just need a bit of patience a few sparks keep blowing on it and it does glow red hot and you can get tinder going with these um, I'll leave this one where it is because it's soaking wet it's no good to me at the minute but they're usually found on um, ash trees these are dotted about all over so in the summertime I might come down and grab a few of these just for uh, getting a bit of a fire alright guys um, I'm just going to give you a quick view of what I've got in my bag with me today I've got my uh brew kit and uh, just my general odds and sods day to day um, I have sort of spread myself out a little bit I've got my uh, cup of coffee on the go um, why not right in the woods for a nice uh, nice time for the woods so if you just go through what I've got then 
I will apologise if the volume's a little bit low because I'm using my phone, it's a Galaxy S7. It's not a bad bit of kit, it's waterproof, so uh, that's a happy days for me because it is raining out here still. Um, so I've got my snug pack response pack, it's about 15, 20 pounds. Um, it's not a brilliant bit of kit, it has developed a few rips and uh, tears in it, but it's, it's a good um, way for keeping all your kit together. Um, it's got my cooker, um, a titanium cup and whatnot on it, I'll show you that in a minute because it's still out cooling off. Um, so with me then I've got my SAS survival guide, it's a lofty Wiseman, it's a Collins gem. Uh, five or six pounds I think I paid for this. It's a really, really good point of reference if you're not sure what you're doing or if you just want um, a couple of helpful hints and tips. Worth its weight in gold, absolutely brilliant book. I keep referring to it all the time. Um, so in the side then, small AM FM radio, uh, just some tunes if you're out with your friends, you can sit there and uh, catch a bit of Radio 1 or whatever whilst you're having your coffee. We've also got a small first aid kit, come out there we go um, some plasters and general knickknacks if you cut yourself um, I always carry one now I was doing a mountain bike race last year I, uh, I went over the handlebars cut the back of my leg on my pedals uh, it needed 13 stitches I didn't have anything on me at the time luckily a member of the public was walking through and he, um, he went to his house got me some bandages so I was, I was very very lucky there lesson learned um, so in the front then I always carry a compass this is um, a military base plate compass it's not the easiest thing in the world to read to be honest because it's in mils rather than degrees uh, so it's 5600 mils as opposed to 360 degrees. It is more accurate, but to be honest, day to day, a cheap silver base plate compass will do you just fine. We've got an Amazon torch, about two, three pounds, it's an LED. Um, it's okay, it's all right, it just stays in my bag. It's not my go-to torch, so you normally carry uh, lead lens and stuff, which is far superior, I believe. Um, so if I just plonk that to one side, quite where my coffee's uh, filling up with uh, cold water, with the rain in. So, the, uh, this is actually quite a good bag, this is an overboard dry bag, you um, roll the top over three or four times and so far it's proved to be relatively watertight. So this is the One Tigris single uh, strap shoulder bag, £30 uh, from Amazon, it's comparable to Maxpedition I believe, it's pretty tough stuff. So inside then we've got... Uh, ZL1 Zenga lighter, it's about three pounds from Amazon, it's got a flame lock on it, really big gas tank. I've been carrying that for ooh, a couple of years now and it's held up well. We've got a SOG multi-tool, non-locking blades, UK legal, that's the problem we've got in this country with multi-tools, the majority of them um, have locking blades on them. It's a bit of a, a bit of a difficult one to get one that's uh, UK legal to be honest with you, unless you've got like the Lebanon rebar EDC. But it's, it's not cheap, it's about £80. So inside then we've got Petzl Tequila 2, takes three AAA batteries, two lighting modes, full beam, low beam and off the off. We've got a small, like these little mini bags you get from Sports Direct, just so I've got to carry this in um, slightly larger that I didn't anticipate. Main compartment, I'm not going to get it out, but it's um, first aid kit with plasters, tweezers, bandages, all the good stuff should you need it. Also got uh, an Otterbox 1000 series. Um, it's a survival kit of sorts. To be honest with you, it's, it's, it's got a bit of everything. It's got matches, candles, cordage, um, whistle. It's um, it's lightweight. It doesn't get in the way, and you never know when you're going to need something. You can guarantee if you haven't got it, you're going to want it. So I will just carry one. Um, got a silver emergency blanket. It's a high gear branded one. They're cheap and cheerful. If you do come across somebody that's um, they need to keep them warm or they've, you know, they've had an accident or going into shock. And you can just wrap this around them, keep the body heating, um, prevent them hopefully going hypothermic. If I jam all this back in, like so. Um, in the front pouch then, so I've got my um, bits and pieces. So I've got a um, Sharpie pen, absolutely brilliant bit kit, permanent marker. I've got a um, small set of screwdrivers, sorry you can't see it because I'm um, Phone stuck in a tree and filming this on my own. I've got um, a smart pebble phone charger, it's, uh, it's not brilliant to be honest. I've ordered a bigger one from Amazon with a bit more uh, juice in it. Like my Fire Fire still, they're okay, they're pretty good. Um, they do need a bit of practice to get used to. You do need really, really fine tinders to get, um, get this to work. But you basically scrape the top of it. You have to scrape the black layer off, that's like a protective coating, and it does uh, patina over time, so you need to scrape it back to the fresh, bright metal. He says, There you go, if you use the right side of the striker. Um, 
So yeah, it kicks off um, a fair shower of sparks. Very, very fine tin you can get going with that. If I jam that back in my bag. Um, attached to the key hook then, got a plastic survival whistle, quite loud. Lead lens, a P3 torch, takes a single AAA battery. Um, adjustable focus on the beam. This is a Victoria Max Climus Swiss Army knife. I've always got a Swiss Army knife on me. Even if it's just one of the, um, the mini classics on my keys, I've always got one on me. So, if I chuck this back in my bag, I'm going to have to tidy this up later on. It's a little bit of a mess. I see the bag is £30 from Amazon. It does tend to come everywhere with me. It's um, yeah, sort of a practical man bag, if you like. But it's just got all the sort of handy essentials. Uh, there's a few painkillers in there as well. Headache tablets, so there's nothing worse than being caught with a blinding headache. You can't do anything about it. So, if I fish you out the tree, I'll just show you my cooker quickly. This is the um, titanium cut from Outkit. My friend bought me this. I put some plastic hose around the handles. That's just to stop you burning your fingers off the, straight off the stove. It does work a treat. It's silicon hose. It's for RC remote controlled cars. So if I just turn you around quickly, bear with me. So we've got our um, high gear branded stove, PZ ignition. Uh, it's got a long hose leading to the gas tank there. So you twist, uh, twist the valve out, hit the PZO. Um, it's really, really effective actually. I'm, I'm stood out in the rain and no, I've managed to get a, a cup of coffee on the go. So, you know, most some diehard fans will say, oh, you need to get a fire on. Um, but to be honest, if you just, you know, you need a cup of coffee and you haven't brought your flask with you, this is a good option. Um, so I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you've got any comments, uh, suggestions, please let me know. Um, my name's Keith, I uh, hope you enjoyed, see you in a bit.